Neo Nazis, they decide to go to a Harvard, what, book club thing? Here it is. Cowards, let's put their uh, picture up for a mask. Um, I thought they were against wearing masks. All right, Sunday, a neo Nazi group invaded Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts, threatening book fair goers. That's who they threatened, people that came there to read books, okay? The fascist wore apparel bearing the name of the Nationalist Social Club, also known as the NSC 131 crew. These so called tough guys who raided a book event eventually scurried away in a van shortly after threatening and cursing at bystanders. Then in a video posted by NSC 131, Tuesday on the online video sharing platform, Odyssey showed members of the group performing an apparent Nazi salute in front of the Democracy Center, a Cambridge meeting house where the Boston Anarchist Book Fair was taking place. This was over the weekend. Members of the group pounded on the doors and windows of the building and launched at a passerby on the street. NSC 131 lads confronted Antifa at the Boston Book Fair in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The group wrote in the video's description. Antifa hid inside the hostile passerby were quickly deterred. Whose streets? Our streets. Uh, this is the first reported incident of the activity in Cambridge. The Democracy Center had uh, been hosting a Boston Book Fair, an annual event that showcases anarchist, anti-capitalist, and anti-fascist literature each November. In a statement posted on Twitter Monday, the book fair wrote, the volunteers and attendees at the event prevented the NSC 131 members from entering the Democracy Center and no one was physically injured. The book fair thanked the volunteers, here's that tweet. It says whether you're bringing extra snacks, wearing a mask, or shedding a door in a fascist face, you're participating in an important act, an important acts of community care and solidarity. Thank you for your support. Be a book fair. I love it. All right, uh, New England Nazi. Let's go ahead and put his picture up. Um, this guy's a piece of work. So New England Nazi Chris Hood founded NSC 131 in 2019. Hood was arrested in July for fighting in public when he and other members protested at a children's drag queen story hour. Okay, um, the Anti-Defamation League says, and I quote, NSC 131 members consider themselves soldiers fighting a war against a hostile Jewish control system that is deliberately plotting the extinction, the extinction of the white race. Their goal is to form an underground network of white men who are willing to fight against their perceived enemies through localized direct actions. Okay, all right, and let's put up the picture email statement that came from Cambridge police spokesperson Jeremy Warnick wrote the department responded to reports of NSE 13 intimidating citizens, but the department did not locate the van in which they departed in. It's continuing this anti this anti that this hate and bigotry rhetoric. These individuals are emboldened, they feel empowered to do exactly what they are doing. That's why it is important to highlight them, to fight them and to say this is not going to define our country nor our communities. Jordan, thoughts here. I mean, the least surprising development I think for me was that the police department later said they couldn't, they didn't, they weren't able to find the van where they all left. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, of course, <laughs> what, what good are you? Right. Uh, but Boston is also one of the most racist cities in the country. You know, a lot of people like to demonize the South. There's definitely deep seated racism in the South, but Boston, the racism in Boston is so bad that the mayor had to put out a report 
on racism as a yep. problem, a systemic problem in the city a couple of years ago. Um, it's it's nasty. It's extremely nasty. So not surprising that's happening there, but deeply, deeply sad because like we just like we talked about earlier in the show, people like that are who are emboldened by Trump's uh, rhetoric. And it's not going to go away on its own. And we don't really seem to have a good grasp as like collectively, especially people with their hands in the levers of power on how to deal with this. So yeah. I feel bad for anybody caught in that in that situation who just wanted to go look at some books. Regardless of the ideology, you should be able to just consume literature. I just I that is absurd. They're more worried about people reading things that are liberating and things that support worker empowerment uh, than than anything else. And they're they are fueled by xenophobia and racism, anti-Semitism specifically. That is such as a, a common through line in all of these different white nationalist conspiracies. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm glad no one got hurt ultimately. Yeah, but same. I just, I same really here. Want to see this go away? Yeah, and the thing is, man, they they are really selective about what communities they go to. Let me just put it that way. 